Wouldn't it be cool if you can generate leads on demand, but not just any leads, leads that will actually want to work with you. In this video, I'm going to cover the concept behind why Facebook ads sometimes work and let's face it, most of the time they don't. So you can turn your Facebook ads from a slot machine to an ATM. Let's roll. My passion is helping real estate agents grow their trust, authority, and local celebrity through marketing so you can grow your real estate business through attracting better quality leads that won't want to work with anyone else. My name is Sebastian Malinowski, and if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Oh yeah, don't forget the ringy dingy bell button. Okay, so let's cover a very important topic, Facebook ads, and why sometimes it works, and like I said, for the most part, for most agents, it just doesn't. Of course, let's bring up my handy dandy tribe agent roadmap. I want you to see something very, very important. Right here in the foundation phase of the tribe agent roadmap, leads on demand. Notice how that's the seventh step. First, you have to go through the foundation phase, then the authority phase. Each one has three steps. Running Facebook ads is literally the last thing you should be thinking of. You have to get everything else right before you even run ads. That's the biggest problem. That's the biggest why, why, why? Bob, I'm stumbling again. Why Facebook ads just simply don't work most often. Most agents, let's face it, they focus on Facebook ads and they don't have the entire conversion system set up yet. And here's the deal. Facebook isn't actually the thing that's going to generate the leads for you or somehow make leads fall from the sky into your lap. It's not up to Facebook, it's up to you. So let me explain what I'm talking about. Quick story I'm gonna tell you and I promise it will all make sense at the end. Let's pretend you and a friend, you're both going camping for a week somewhere in the woods. There's nothing around so you have to literally bring everything you need in order for the both of you to survive for one week. Now you get there, you start unpacking, you pitch your tents and you notice, oh no, we forgot the water. Oh, that would suck, right? But the good news is you notice that there is a river nearby. You know you have to walk up to the river and bring the water back with you. You rummage through your bags and you notice you both have a jug. Well, that's great news. You make your way to the river to grab some water. Now, you, you have a really small jug. That's the only thing you brought with you. So you dunk it into the river and now you've got water. But there's a problem. You're looking at your jug and you notice it has a huge crack at the side of it. You didn't notice it was there, but obviously it's there. Water is seeping out. And you know by the time you get back to the campsite, you're probably not gonna have any water left. So your only hope now is that your friend has a better jug. You look over, sure enough, your friend, he brought a jug and his jug is massive. He dunks it into the river, pulls it up, water, fill to the top. And the good news is, no cracks. So now it's a race for time. For you, not your friend. Your friend could take his time strolling back, but you know you've got to run back to the campsite and you start making your way back. And here's what happens. Your friend, his jug is still full. You, your little jug with the crack in it, nothing, completely empty. So what does this have to do with Facebook ads and generating leads on demand? I'm glad you asked. I'm glad they asked everything. Let me explain. The river represents Facebook. Your jugs represent your Facebook ads. Let me break it down a little more for you. You see, the river is a flow of water, just like Facebook is nothing more than a flow of people. The jugs are your ads. So essentially, your ad was broken. You scooped up a lead, but by the time you got back to the campsite, your lead was gone. They maybe decided to work with somebody else. While your friend, he scooped his jug into the flow of traffic on Facebook. Is it making sense? By the time your friend walked his jug back to the campsite, the leads were still there. The river is Facebook traffic. Your jugs are your ads. 
your journey back to your campsite, that is the entire process that you bring your lead through. That's why you probably shouldn't run a Facebook ad unless you have the foundation built. That's like dunking your jug into the river. Yeah, you have that lead, but by the time you get to your campsite, your lead is gone because your process was broken. And when I say process, of course, I mean the journey you bring your lead through. Is that making sense? Can you see how it's not Facebook itself that's actually going to do the job of creating and converting that lead for you? It's up to you to walk up to the flow of traffic on Facebook and all you're doing is taking a piece of it. You're scooping up the traffic, some of that traffic that's already there on Facebook. And the question is, is your jug broken or is your Facebook ad broken? And is your process broken? Your conversion experience, is that working or is it not? So first, if you have a bad Facebook ad, that's like a broken jug. If you've got a great Facebook ad, you can scoop up so many more leads. And now the second phase begins and that's up to you and your lead conversion experience. You want to make sure by the time you get back to your campsite, all the leads are still there and they want to work with you. The bottom line is it's not up to Facebook. Facebook is nothing more than traffic. Can you, can you see that now? Oh, and in case you're wondering, you can download your own PDF, the Tribe Agent Roadmap. The link is in the description below. Generating leads is one thing, but it's up to you to make sure that your funnel is working. And like I said, the Facebook ads, generating leads on demand, that's the seventh step in your process. So remember, if you wanna generate Facebook ads, leads on demand, you have to make sure that your funnel is not broken. That way your Facebook ads will go from nothing more than a slot machine to an ATM. Question of the day, are you running Facebook ads? If you are, let me know. Put your answer down in the comment section below. Let me know what's working for you. And also I'm curious, please let me know, did you learn any lessons the hard way? Did you perhaps have a broken jug in the past that you fixed? I'm very curious please give me your answer in the comment section below. Good, was that good? All right, let's wrap it up here. I'm Sebastian Malinowski. Before you get going, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell thingy, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.